Hi Stampers, this is Jill Olson and I'm here for Watch It Weekly Wednesday. I'm going to show you this new stamp called the Buffalo Check Stamp. And it comes two different ways. This is the wood mount. It comes in this case with the wood and the sticker and you just mount it right on the piece of wood. Or you can do it the clear mount too. So I like this because it's already ready to go. And when I stamp a big stamp like that, this, I actually turn it upside down. So let me show you how this works. I'm going to take one of our new stamp pads. This is Blueberry Bushel. And I'm just going to kind of walk it across the pad. And you can tell if it's all inked up or not. Okay, and then what I'm going to do, you can do it two different ways. If you want it to match all the way around, you put it on this side where the dark um, or if you want it to not be matched on each side. I mean, it just depends on what you want or the look you want. So I'm going to go ahead and put this down carefully. And then I take a scratch piece of paper, hold one side, rub it, and hold the other side and rub it. And basically what this does is it goes ahead, instead of standing up and trying to real pressure down on the stamp to get a good image, it, you get a good image every time. So I'm going to lift this up. So there you go. You've got your blue on blue. So, okay, so that's one way of getting the background. Let me show you some other ways. I went ahead and took the Versamark pad right here. And Versamark, remember, is a stamp pad that gives you kind of like a watermark look. So this is just on the actual cardstock, and you can see how it just gives you the little hint darker of color. I love the way it looks on the crumb cake. It looks perfect. This one right here is the old olive and I did it on that and I just used this really cool black foil that's in our holiday catalog and love the way it looks with that. Here's um, one of our new ones in our catalog, the thank you framelit. So this is really cool because it look look how good it looks with the black. So I'm going to show you. So that's with the Versamark. So it just you're making your own designer series paper by just using this one stamp. All different kinds of ways. Memento ink, the black. Look at all these possibilities. Halloween. Oh my goodness, so cool. Okay, here's another sample right here. That's with this black. So you can do it with any kind of cardstock and you can get a different look and you can see that how done with black, done with tone on tone and actually this is done with the stamp pad the same color as the actual cardstock and you can see this is different with the Versamark same color but this is Versamark, this is the stamp pad the possibilities are endless with using this Buffalo check stamp. Here's a little um, cute little box that I did, one of our gable boxes, and this is the shimmer one. I only stamped the front of it. Let me show you how I did that. I went ahead and put a post-it note right here, and you want to make sure you put it back a little bit. The fold line is, and then you're going to actually stamp this right on the stamp, but you're just going to turn that over and put it down, and you're just getting that one front piece. So, and then when it's done, it will look like this. So it'll have white on the side and the checks on the bottom and everything. But that's how I got that look. You can use it on a bunch of different products as far as not just our um, cardstock, but you can use it on paper too. It makes a great background and the possibilities are endless. If you'd like to order any of these products, you can go to stampinjill.com. And if you'd like to comment below on this video, give it a thumbs up or share it with somebody. Hope to see you next time on Watch It Weekly Wednesday.